Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. Man, this is your boy, Azakar, my bringing you flame like I usually do. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Be left in the loop every time your boy drop that work. You feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Ticket TV. Carcino Kwame Brown, the league attorney. J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer. Too raw for sports, too raw for TV. Kicking it with Mr. Moss. LC Predator Catch. J.D. Black. Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson. Man, uh, Captain Tazariak. Captain Kakazai. N.O.I. Dr. Uh, 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 who else? Who else I didn't mention? It's, these brothers bring the flame. You just don't understand. They bring the flame. On these streets, you feel me? But man, listen here, man. I did a video a while back. The case involving uh, Henry Dinkins. That waste of human fluid. The one who... Did something to that little girl. Yeah, he murdered that little girl. And trying to play dumb. You know what I'm saying? But uh, on Wednesday, on Wednesday now, he he had the audacity. The audacity to have a little rant in court. And man, it's about a good 30 minutes. I want y'all to sit back. Now, keep in mind all the hell... He done put the mother through the child that lost the child. Uh, the, mo the one who lost the child. Put that whole family through hell. And look what he finna go on a rant in court about. Boy, this is this is a trip. Get y'all popcorn ready. Get your pieces ready. Get your, get your baseball bash ready. You feel me? Because, boy, this is crazy. And I'm going to cook on it too at the same. Simultaneously. You hear me? So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And tune on in. I'll let you in a second. Man, when I tell you, when I tell you, you're going you gonna to trip off this. Now, y'all have seen all them videos on dude doing all that bold talking. And especially with the cop interview and all this, then the evidence that came against him. Now he won't talk. Now he won't talk. Well, we, I want y'all to hear this. This came out Wednesday. I don't know if anybody paid as much attention to it, but you know, they tried to probably downplay it. It came out October 11th. So we're going to cook on this. And this is some bullshit, boy. You listen to this nigga, man. Oh, he a band. A band. Bitch ahead, Nick. Mr. Dinkins, this is your opportunity to address me and tell me what you would like me to know before I pronounce sentence in this case. <clears throat> what are you supposed to do when you're told you can't even speak in court? especially when you see and know something ain't right. Logistically, it's like having a gag order, which prevents you from addressing the court with any of the, with any of the issues. What, what if your issues are with the judge, the prosecutor, or the attorney? You are not allowed to put anything on record at any time of these, of these issues. First of all, dude, you got issues. Yeah, you got some, you got some nail filing issues, you know what I'm saying? From the jump. And then I, you supposed to be the man of the house in a situation where you at. How you not gonna know what's gonna come about your house? You just the man just don't want to put get put pride. They won't put their pride down, dude. Oh, sorry, motherfucker. To be going to court proceedings unless it's asked the question of the judge, the prosecutor, or your attorney. What happened to the rights of freedom of speech if a person addressed a matter to the court in the proper proceedings? Even if it's in the same spectrum as if your attorney or your prosecutor are addressing the courts or any issues. Your Honor, may I speak to the courts? There are so many various issues people might have at different times of the court proceeding. I believe these issues could be, I mean, I believe if these issues could be resolved between client and counsel, then there wouldn't be a problem. But that's not always the case. I'm only going to speak right now because this is my only opportunity to address the court during the closing of this trial which is kind of too late for me even if you do ask your attorney to ask certain questions sometimes things don't get done 
I have a speech that I would like to address the courts with if the judge allowed me the opportunity to say the following. Uh, let me address the facts about everything regarding my case. First, I want to know if I can quote case numbers or just say in the same, either or would be fine to me. Where is the justice in the judicial system and how do you be the system that is against you that's not playing fair? When I was in Clinton County Jail, I remember two detectives coming to charge me with this case. I remember the female detective saying, we are gonna, we're going to make you look like a monster when this is over. That statement was made during my initial report. Who is they? That's the million dollar question that will arise a little later further in this, re in this reading. I'm only going to speak facts. To be honest, I was already found guilty before this case and trial already began. I can see it as racial profiling behind my background. I'm saying this. Racial profiling. Racial profiling. Let's, let's see what this motherfucker done did. Child killer. Henry Dinkins went on a rant on his sentence in Wednesday. Said he received unfair treatment during the murder case that led him to being found guilty of murdering a 10-year-old Barisa Terrell. I was being bamboozled by the blind side. Dick said to the judge. This motherfucker here crazy. He a ban. A B-A-N. Bitch ass nip. For that, man. Because how everything played out from the beginning all the way up to now. I contemplated over these, over the moves that the state used to hinder my character to fit their benefits. First, they blast my name widespread on widespread coverage, negatively nonstop on the news, in the papers, and all over social media, and even on posters. This made me vulnerable towards animosity towards the public and guaranteed people to have a bad image of me in their thoughts. So if I chose a jury trial, this pretty much polluted their thoughts about the type of person they wanted to image me as. And all of this went global for their support. Now I'm guaranteed not to get a fair jury selection for, for trial, and even if I... And if I chose a bench trial, this it would be sealed with a guilty verdict. So where is the equal liberty and justice in the system when you're being railroaded? By those, by the police, the detectives, and others working hand in hand. It really don't take no rocket scientists to see through this magnetic picture. Through these series of events, I know I've been railroaded, so either way, the state had the odds in them. Hold on, what did you just say? A favor. Detectives and others working hand in hand. It really don't take no rocket scientists to see through this magnetic picture. Through these <laughs> series of events, I know I've been railroaded, so either way, the state had the odds in their favor. The state produced 900 exhibits offered into evidence. I can honestly say I only received, I've, I can honestly say I've only seen 35 exhibit, exhibits before this trial, but I was given 665 exhibits during trial to have for my records. I never had the opportunity to look over 90% of any of this for preparation for trial, but this includes footages as well. So where is, so this is what the courts have to offer me. All of this, all this was new to me during trial, but I believe the 700 exhibits offered was the shortcut, was the shortcut. I believe there are others that the state didn't provide allow, allowing a definitive preparation for trial by deception or once again, by deception. So once again, where is the equal injustice in the judicial system when you're when you're told you can't speak, especially when you see the state? Man, dude, you don't need to speak. I mean, your action it ain't what the what you told us, what you showed us, man. That body language is off, and you have no good no explanation how that child ended up being missing or not. Sad. Hell yeah, that's some sad shit. Very sad. Don't y'all agree? Don't y'all agree? Ain't playing fair. I do remember being transferred from Davenport to Clinton County County Jail behind the, the bad publicized coverage. I remember a couple of things taking place while I was being there. First, I asked for a change of venue because behind the negative news. I also made the comment Man, they're never going to find her because it's been quite some time. Boy, he getting them thoughts together doing that motherfucker. Hey, boy. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Copyright, copyright, copyright. You already know this is an educational learning tool purpose. You know what I'm saying?
as the time progressed. That even made it even slimmer. I also made, I also was going to represent myself because the, all, the, all the attorneys that the state was providing wasn't doing nothing in my case. So I just wasn't about to do nothing as well. So I at least was going to try to attempt to go to pro, at least try to attempt pro se. Dude said, well, nobody going to hear me. I'm going to do it myself. When I seen the judge, he made the comment saying, I have no problem opposing this time on you. You need to reconsider your, your decision because you're facing some real serious charges. When I seen the look in the judge's eyes, I knew then I had to get a jury trial. But through the news press, the, through the news coverage and the news confirming this vic. He gon' get it out. I know I had to get a jury trial, but through the news press coverage confirming this verdict with the high profile in this murder case. So my chances of winning even with a jury trial was slim even with slim and even and if and if you don't have the right attorney it's even slimmer. I was told by a birdie that if you have this case heard or in any remote area where this is being televised, you would be found guilty, and this was by the state's own officials that uphold the laws. So once again, where is the equal liberty and justice by, for the system for all? This racism that I'm, that this racism do run deep in, this, in the Iowa system for people of color. This band is talking about racism, man. <laughs> what the? Racism? You, you the white chuck, you the black chuck? A child at that. Oh, man. Which I'm only, which I'm not only talking blacks, I know whites also have the same problem as well. But, I'm, but it's more common for the people, for, for men of color. This, but the, Profile races that I'm dealing with is behind my background. And almost 75% of their news coverage, they mention my background or something in regards of that nature. If I didn't have that, I would have never got charged. When I was in Marshall, Marshall County, before this trial began, here they go again, sliding negative news coverage of my background a week or so before my jury selection was about to begin. I said something to my attorney, which all he said was, nothing, there's nothing we can do about that. I made my mind up that if we're, if they're not going to play fair and I can't get a fair jury selection, I should just take my case back to Davenport. Once I was transferred to, to Cedar Rapids County Jail uh, uh, before my trial, the day of my trial, here they was again mentioning my name on the news again. Power off. I really don't know a lot about the laws, but I know enough when I see a lot of my constitutional rights being violated. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. That body cam told on you and your situation told on you. It ain't what you told us, what you showed us, homie. Make like, share, and subscribe, like, share. Y'all hear this old malarkey? From the beginning up to now, through this racial profile, the state and others have shown ambiguous behaviors that sought constantly through these drawn lines. But what can you do when you're told you're not allowed to speak? I can only play with what's provided by the courts and the state's rules. They told dude he couldn't speak. Me and my family tried to contact my attorney on several different occasions, which I was told that he was working on other on, on the other client's case. To you, Judge Layton, Judge Layton, you handpicked my attorney. I went through three different attorneys, but the handpicked one was my last option. I'm not going to bash my county, be, my counsel, because I know he personally did more than more than the Davenport public pretenders. But I know he overlooked the, some some things in my case. I'm not quite understanding how I wasn't given 665 exhibits or seen any footage just before this trial. He did make me believe I was he was going to raise these issues, but I never seen nothing come forward. I've asked several times, but was told you have nothing to worry about. I was being bamboozled by the blind side. <laughs> I really don't know if this would have made it different because the judge was just looking for any reasons to get this verdict. 
I can truly say after hearing the judge's remark, and while I was in Clinton and in Cedar Rapids, the judge's demeanor spoke real clear to, to me of the courts, which made me realize that I never had a chance to win from the beginning. So once again, where is the justice in the judicial system when you when you see the judge in his own personal emotion? Then he. Ooh, hold on, I gotta hit that one more time. Then you hear the judge. So once again, one more time. where is the justice in the judicial system? Remark. And while I was in Clinton and in Cedar Rapids, the judge's demeanor spoke real clear to to me of the courts, which made me realize that I never had a chance to win from the beginning. So once again, where is the justice in the judicial system when you when you see the judge in his own personal emotion? Then he, mm, mm, he mm, judge his own personal emotion. Everything you made, everything made against you, he find credible. Then tell you everything you said is a lie and untruthful. Even when they know you know they lied. I do understand the power of the pen, especially when the power of authority is being abused behind watchful seers. I do wish situations were different, but the state has played dirty when they know they didn't have Ooh, anything. Oh, he said the state be playing easiest, dirty. Easiest target behind my background. I would have to say this is overwhelming. Now, with his background, he's talking about y'all. He's a CM. He's a CM. He filed nails. But I have to stay focused and grounded. I have more hurdles that I have to jump through, but I have to take things one step at a time. For those who believe this fight is over, guess what? Through my resilience, you will see me at the next cho the next checkpoint, God willing. My main focus is getting back home, but where is home after all this? Where is home? But right now, I have to stay focused on on what's on what's more important. Mm. I'm only able to play with what's provided by the by help by help from those who are watchful seers as well. I know the court has played unfair towards me. I played this scenario numerous times in my head trying to figure this out, but I keep coming up with the same answer. You never had a chance from the beginning. So I say this to you, Judge Layden. What if you would have found me, what if you wouldn't have never found me guilty and found me innocent? What would have been the outcome of your, the outcome from their perspective? Everybody have to report to somebody, but God is the ultimate, the ultimate, but God is the final ultimate judge. What would have been the outcome of your the outcome from their perspective? Everybody have to report to somebody. But God is the ultimate the ultimate but God is the final ultimate judge. I do forgive those who made past judgments of getting against normally. Never once have the courts asked me about anything of the clothing or the shoes or, or during any of these allegations. I honestly believe that these items are not important, but it was just giving the state more ammunition to point a finger negativity towards me. Just like me not opening Andrea's door with my key to allow the police to walk into her residence. I don't have them rights for that. I don't pay no bills at her apartment to allow anyone access to, to her place. I didn't give no approval for her place for that. I didn't give no approval for a place that's not my place of authority to do. On the footage, on the footage, I, I told him I checked, and he said, "Let's check." And then lied and said I told Andrea, and then, then he lied and said I I said it was it was okay for him to go into Andrea's house. But I will have to say the video do speak for itself. I will have to say there was one person's statement that was consistent from the initial report to deposition to trial. And that was Miss Gardner, Aisha's mom. I do recall talking to I do recall her talking to Aisha before I left with the kids while I wouldn't have never left with either kid. I'm still stumped about nine hundred exhibits plus and I'm saying plus because I've only received seven hundred of that the, and the state knows that the ones that would have set me free, they use deception and sabotage me. Mm. But made a mistake by giving me 665 exhibits during trial to go through and to cipher through after trial. Mm -mm -mm. I know I was given 665 because I counted them, which I've already had 35 before this trial. And which, Paul baby. Which, which gives me 700 in total. Except for the ones I gave my attorney when the state Poor baby. To move them exhibits to move to 
move things into mobile to fit their exhibits. This man here, boy. I, uh, I need that letter back, Chad, if you don't mind. The one that I gave you uh, pertaining to the ocean. If I had 120 footage, 120 footage of video with 80% showing nothing, I can make a story up about any vehicle or, or make anything appear where I want it to be, especially if, I, if I'm able to take what I want to produce and the rest of it, produce the rest where, let me see about my back, especially if I don't want to. Okay, and not produce the rest where nothing else is being presented but what I want the world to see. I know that they didn't give uh, my attorney that information as well. I'm the one who said that I went to the quick shot, which was used against me. I'm the one who said that me and my son stopped by the mobile, which was used against me. If I would have got on the stand, you would have probably found a reason to use that against me as well. The only reason why you didn't use my son's statements saying he seen me kill his sister, it would have made every lie truthful. It would have made un everybody lies untruthful, which you couldn't have that. So I say once mm, again, mm, mm. Justice and he is the he is only one in y'all. Why wasn't Andrea's initial statement video played? They played mine. He is really on one. Show. They played DLs and they played Jerry. I know the state. I'm, I know in the state know that Andrea's initial video recording says something totally different. That's why they didn't show them contents or produce that video, which I'm not quite understanding why my counselor didn't bring that forward as well. I'm not, e I'm not even sure if he even had that information because I've never seen any footages of what the public saw during trial. Boy, that was, that's interesting, isn't it? He is really on one. I can speak for days about what happened, but since my attorney didn't bring up any issues on motion, what are my chances now? Even check, even Jared's statement are twisted up. But like I said, anything the court can use to find his verdict guilty. They're going to use it. There it is right there in the eyes of the public racial racial profiling. When I was given when I was given them exhibits, I wrote the court. Where are you getting this racial profiling shit from? I, given, I wrote the court during this. Cause they mess with me because I, I filed nail. Documents law from the Iowa law book of Iowa Rules of Criminal Proceeding. Stating the fall I stating the following item and its reason, but once again it was overlooked by saying I'm going to give both parties that information. You have to talk with your attorney. I know I'm not allowed to put case numbers, but I sent the statement of the following, following items of evidence and possession or control or are necessary for preparation for the defendant to inspect copies, photos, or exhibits that the state intend to offer into evidence at trial or, at, or belonging to the defendant. From the, law, from the law book, I sent consequences of failure to make disclosure of discovery failure to disclose supplements or of early responders to the to admit failure to disclose or su supplement. If a party fails to provide information or identi identify a witness as required by Rule 1.5, the party is not allowed to use that information or witness to supply evidence on a motion or at a hearing or at a trial, unless the failure was substantially justified or harmless. It also says if in disclosure of expert testimony, if a party must disclose to the other party, the other party of any witness, it is also it's a expert testimony. A party must disclose to the other party identity of any witness the party may use at trial to present evidence under rules of evidence, saying any exhibits that will be used to summarize or support the opinion. Are also saying he well, is so on one. Material evidence newly discovered, which could not be reasonably dis dis diligently have been discovered and produced at trial with, with official comments and act with 1943 federal practice. I'm only able to do what I can just, just to be rejected or overlooked once again by everybody. When you ask your counsel when, when will certain things be brought up and he tells you through other witnesses, but 
but it's misleading of your of your counsel when you know when he knows that the state is going to rest and there is no more witness to raise the issue but he tells you different but you but you are now allowed to speak on trial the long letter I am. my dear son you know i love you with all my heart I know everybody distorted your thoughts. But oh, you God. Out in your own head. I'm sorry that you had to deal with all this abuse from those who made you lie about all these stories. I know you remember me, you and Bree counting money on the mattress up to $2,000. I was so proud of you because you was a fast learner. I know you are mad because you believe I lost your sister, but guess what? Your dad ain't mad at you behind the lies. I love you more than the lies. I... I know one day you will tell the truth, but even if you don't, I'll still love you regardless. Ms. Coberson, I also respect your initial report and your deposition, but somewhere along this course, your whole story changed like 360. I'm not sure what took place or what type of situation you might be in, <laughs> but something made you spiral from out of the normal. You know I've never been violent towards you or showed any aggression. I've only been protective of you. That's why I was kind of surprised by the statements you made, which kind of had me thrown off the loop. Just please give my things to my family, and I'll leave it at that. Aisha, you said something in your deposition that caught, me, that caught my attention. You said you wrote me 15 letters from the beginning of this case. Well, it's sad to say, but I, I believe I might have only got two letters that slipped through the crack that they didn't catch. They took them, that is, before I even had a chance to receive them. That was their intentions to oh, turn against me. That way it makes it easy for them to point a finger. I even gave this letter to my attorney. But the only time that I was able to contact you, and that's when I was in Clinton, I text you. I know you remember because you kept asking me who is this. I never said who I was. I even text your mom number as well. I will have to say your initial and depositions are totally different from your trials, straight the opposite, which I, I know them people play the factor as well in that. So just for the records of the court, I wasn't in any shape prepared in addition for this trial. My resilience will continue to keep me focused and peaceful during these hard moments. I do have determination that through these challenges, I believe in the very def definition of faith. My faith ignites hope in my heart to, to, over, to overcome these trials and tribulations. Right now, I'm the underdog rising through these misfortunes. I have to stay strong through this, through this predicament. My God taught me failure isn't final. Your fight is only over when you throw in a towel. What initiate champions? The Almighty. My oh, own is my strong hip, like this. Yeah, boy. My joy is beyond any experience I ever imagined. I will overcome this. I am encouraged that a power far beyond my physical ability will appear in yeah, it is Milwaukee. through this fight of lies with truth that will set me free. Before I print up, uh, pursue with my uh, judgment and sentence in this case, I must address some of the statements made. Uh oh, here we go. Go on, cook them, Judge. Go on, cook them. representing the defendant in this uh, proceeding and in this trial, his last uh, counsel, are very competent. We're very zealous in the representation of the defendant. Couldn't have asked for better attorneys. The court made its decision based on all the evidence that was presented in this case. The court's ruling was based on facts. I find no legal basis to grant any of the defendant's motions for judgment or acquittal or new trial if that was into the intent mm. of some of his statements as a pro se motion. Mm. No. Because the defendant was found guilty of two Class A felonies, this court has no discretion 
on what the sentence shall uh, be imposed. Rather, life imprisonment is mandatory. The court notes, however, that the defendant has an adult criminal record dating back to 1989. This history, coupled with the horrific nature of these offenses against his own child's sister, requires that this defendant be removed from society for the protection of society. This sentence provides for both punishment and for protection of the community. Mr. Dinkins, it's unconscionable that you would take such actions to murder a 10-year-old child who was entrusted to your care. It's very clear to this court that you have no conscience or remorse for your actions. You blatantly lied about trying to find Briasia. You took no legitimate actions to find her. You knew exactly where she was. Due to your extensive mm -hmm. criminal history and the fact that you removed Briasia from the place that you were authorized to care for her and then take her, take Briasia to a dark, deserted area in the country and shoot her in such a horrific manner, supports the finding that the sentences to be imposed on both counts one and two shall be served consecutively. Mr. Dinkins, pursuant to this court's finding, you guilty on September 15th of 2023 of murder in the first degree in violation of Iowa Code Section 707.1, Paren 1, Paren A, and as provided by Sections 902.1, is the judgment and sentence of this court that you be committed to the custody of the Iowa Department of Corrections for the rest of your natural life without the possibility of parole. Pursuant to this court's finding, you guilty on September 15, 2023, of kidnapping in the first degree in violation of Iowa Code Section 710.2, and as provided by Iowa Code Section 902.1, it is the judgment and sense of this court that you be committed to the custody of the Iowa Department of Corrections for the rest of your natural life without the possibility of parole. The rest of your natural life! DNA sampling will be required. Each of these counts will be served consecutive to one another for the reasons stated earlier. The Iowa Medical and Classification Center is designated as a reception center to which you shall be delivered by the sheriff. Pursuant to Iowa Code Section 910.3b1 in Print 1, you are ordered to pay uh, to the heirs of Briasia Terrell, and as noted by the county attorney uh, to Aisha Langford, $150,000. Mr. Freeze, do you wish to address Category B expenses at this time? Lord, 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 Lord. Mr. Dinkins, you did all that. The judge just slam dunked your ass, you hear me? But y'all hear all that crying and all that whining and all that racism, white supremacy. <laughs> it ain't senseless, man. Just say anything. But that's your boy Moose. Do me a favor, y'all. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Just a reaction, boy. This is crazy. Thumbs up, thumb down. Peace.